today we are framing out a sofa. Um, the problem is it goes right here, uh, and this is where I've been storing all my junk, <laughs> all my odds and ends. So I need to tidy up. I need to sh tidy myself up. I need to go take a shower, uh, and then I need to go to Lowe's. I need to go get some lumber. Uh, so let's clean up. Let's get this. Kraken. Okay, y'all. <laughs> Get a load of this. I am in, not in, I'm outside of Jamesport, Missouri. I'm pulling up to my friend's ranch. It is called Green Acres something. Uh, it's this awesome, they do like horse therapy with um, kids with special needs uh, and disabilities. Um, Anyway, my friend runs the place, and <laughs> I'm going horseback riding. Am I a horseback rider? Nope. Have I? Yes. Am I? Oh, and there's just dogs everywhere. I'm gonna run out. Okay, I have, I'll be right back. This is getting stressful. Okay. Y'all, this is gonna be interesting because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so check out these gorgeous horses. Alia, what, are you, what have you gotten me into? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> You're going to be riding Jake over there. Is he brown or black? Um, he's brown. Jake, buddy, how are we making it? We're doing good. We just met each other. Whoa, whoa. Back to the road. Yeah. Whoa. Did you hear that horse farting? <laughs> I just asked Patty if I could be helpful. Patty, what job did you give me? <laughs> I can poop scoop. Poop scoop! I can scoop poop. Jake, are you ready for some brushing? He's sweaty. I made him work. Oh my gosh, we just finished up. You guys, that was awesome. <laughs> like, that was insane. Uh, it's called the Green Acres uh, Training Center. Um, you should check it out. She does like therapeutic writing, um, but I think she also teaches. Um, but so fun. <laughs> like, oh, too much fun. I want a horse. I don't, but I do. I need one. We've tidied up. The area <laughs> is ready to go. So, um, I'm gonna go take a shower. I'll see you at Lowe's. Okay, wow guys. So I should have started filming from the get-go, but I didn't because I didn't realize it was gonna be such a thing. But I, I just hopped in the driver's seat to start Earl, as I'm sure you can hear. I'm sure it's really loud. I don't know if you can even hear me. Um, I hopped in the driver's seat to start Earl. <coughs> Uh, just because it's been a while and it's cold and you know you really it's not good for diesel well, for, probably for any engine but it's definitely not good for diesel engines to sit for a really long time without being started they need to be used so I'm not going anywhere but I'm just starting it I'm gonna let him run for 10 15 20 minutes um, also side note your your tires if you're not in a schoolie full-time this goes for RVs or any vehicle quite frankly uh, it's not good to let tires sit with the pressure in one spot for a long period of time like winter or even longer so um, even with Earl I'm sure you've noticed like I keep moving him and it's because of that it's not good for the tires to be in the same position with that weight on them for an extended period of time I mean they're meant to be used and to have that weight somewhat you know distributed evenly around the tire um, 
you know, like a week, maybe even a month, two, three. No, not three, probably. I don't know. You should ask someone who knows more, but I do know that you shouldn't let them sit for a super long time. But I wish I would have been filming from the get-go because two things happened that I didn't realize were happening. Number one, uh, Leroy, this is the first time Leroy has been an Earl when it's been running, and he kind of flipped out, and then he's cool. So I think that's fine. Uh, he's gonna be okay. My cat will not. She will hate every second of it. She will, she, she'll get used to it, but she will hate it. The other thing, while I was sitting here waiting, I was like, man, you know, like, Earl's dash is so dirty. Like, it's so, everything's just like, grimy and gross. I have some Clorox wipes. I wonder, like, let's clean up a bit. And it's insane. I was thinking I was going to have to, like, completely refinish this dash. Maybe even, like, make a new dashboard, like, out of wood or something. But look at the difference. This is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now, which is, like, a little bit of uh, tidying up and some uh, Clorox wipes. And it's not like it looks brand new or anything, but it really made a difference. I'm really kind of shocked. So I'm going to keep getting this cleaned up. Something's... I don't know, already like the vibrations are making things fall everywhere, but anyway, I just wanted to share that Leroy is going to be okay, <laughs> if anyone was worried, and also, um, I'm going to do some tidying up because it's really making a big difference, so I, maybe this was, this was a kind of a pointless video, but I'm excited about this. Sorry guys, more discoveries. <laughs> uh, so here's the horn, and you can see... Uh, it's been held on by duct tape, which has deteriorated, like, completely. Um, but I was just looking inside, and look what I discovered. This is pretty cool. So first of all, you should know, my plan has been to replace this with, uh, a wooden disc that matches the, the rest of the bus. The only thing is, I don't know if that's gonna work, because this needs to be a little bit pliable. But check out, I guess this is how horns work, or at least how horns worked in 1997. Um, so there's this disc, it's wired, you can see it's wired in there. And whenever this disc makes contact with one of these springs or this metal plate, oh, and I'm even, I'm making the connection with my fingers, that's wild. Um, that's how it works. So if I just take the spring and touch it to this disc, it's going to honk. I learned something today. Okay, I just got back from Lowe's. Big Jack let me borrow his truck. Um, so I'm gonna unload this lumber and then let's get to it. Okay, so I went to just kind of start doing this Jeffree style <laughs> and I realized that this is gonna be a little trickier than some of my other s framing stuff that I've just kind of bumbled through. So I actually have a pencil and paper and I'm gonna try to kind of figure this out before I start cutting wood. So I think I brain thought this out. Uh, so here's what we're looking at. <laughs> this, we're looking at it from the front. Um, here is the entrance. So this is the seat. Okay, we're looking at the profile. And profile, yeah. Um, so the seat is going to be 74 inches long. Why is it going to be 74 inches long? Because that's how long a full-size mattress is. And here's, uh, I'm not doing it now, this will be a finishing project, but I'm using a, uh, a foam mattress, a six inch thick foam mattress, full-size mattress. I'm cutting it in half. I'm making um, sofa cushion covers for both pieces, and one piece will be the, um, the seat cushion for my sofa. The other piece will be the back, uh, back piece for my uh, sofa. And um, here we're looking at it from the top. Okay, this box on the end is a storage box, um, and it's going to be like an armrest, but it's going to have shoe storage in it. The other end is going to be open, just kind of like a chaise chaise. I don't know how you say that word, but like a, it's just going to be open. 
uh, because it's already because it's so long. I don't have room for another armrest, so I'm just that's just how it has to be. <laughs> um, then underneath there will be some. Oh, so. Uh, Half of a full-size foam six-inch thick mattress for the bottom cushion, uh, the other half for the back cushion, and then when I have guests, the seat of the uh, sofa will be on hinges. It will come over. I will have leg braces, and the backrest will lay down on that piece. I'll put a full. Hey, Leroy, stop. Basically, my sofa fold out into a full-size bed. I'm really having a hard time with words today. So, the sun is going down. I am not going to get this done today, but let's get started. Um, this will have to be a two-parter, I suppose. Have the beginning pieces so let's find our drill and get these where they belong Okay, so the wall brace pieces are in. Uh, it wasn't very exciting, <laughs> but that's kind of the name of the game. I don't know if you've noticed that yet, but there's a lot of parts of this process that really aren't very exciting. <laughs> but um, I got those done. <clears throat> Watch out, dude. Watch out, little dog dude. Um, I also cut the front piece. Um, one thing I'm a little worried about is there's not a lot of space up here. Um, that's not a lot of space. Um, so, I don't know. I'm gonna make my cut list. I've got more cuts to make. So, um, let's do that. Cut some more wood. We've got a little bit more daylight. We're gonna do it. So I just got this in here and I haven't I haven't like screwed it down yet, but it's too much. It's too big. Um, I'm not sure what to do. I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna get Big Jack and my sister get some opinions. I don't know, can you see it? Yeah, it's just too big. Oh, hi. I couldn't help but overhear you saying how desperate you were to watch more YouTube videos. Well, you can. Subscribe here. You won't miss a thing. Or watch my film, Once is Enough, right here. Or just click here. Watch another video.